the whole field of MS is really doing very well. So in the last 20 years, we have eight FDA-approved therapies, and so we're making great progress, especially as compared to some other neurologic diseases. I think one of the really exciting areas in MS research, though, is the ability to actually protect and repair. Because MS comes to attention early on because of the inflammatory attacks, we have the luxury of identifying, diagnosing the disease before there's extensive damage. So MS is actually one of the ideal neurologic diseases in which to intervene early and, and prevent the neurodegeneration from happening. And I'm optimistic that we can do that. Collaboration is absolutely essential to move any project forward. I think people know this in the business world, but uh, scientifically and medically, there's no one person who's going to cure this disease or any other disease. There is so much to know out there, and so we have to work with people who are smarter than we are in, in other areas and uh, collaborate. So this has been happening uh, within the MS field for a while. The MS societies around the world uh, collaborate. We, uh, now we have meetings in, all over the world to talk about progress and get together. Uh, and Some of these meetings are, have 5,000 researchers at them, so it's really amazing. Uh, we also need to collaborate with people in other fields who uh, work on other diseases uh, to understand better what progress they've made and apply that to MS. I think the most important message for people who are living with MS is that we are making progress. We have a lot of therapies now for the early stages of disease. It's important to get on those therapies. It's important to take care of yourself. It's important to, to see your doctor and discuss issues with your doctor. And for those who have progressive MS, we were making progress also. It hasn't uh, been as long that we've been thinking about it and working on it in the research fields, but uh, we now have identified targets. We have compounds that are going into clinical trials, and I'm really optimistic that we will start to have therapies that protect and repair tissues and really work in the progressive stage of the disease.